Hey there everybody, it's AJ with Outdoors Podcast. Thanks for joining me here on another video. Uh, I wanted to show off or really review a piece of gear that I have been over the moon excited about and really loving for the last six months that I've been using it. Uh, I am a mobile marketer and uh, media professional by trade. That's how I make my living. And one of the things that I do with one of my clients is I travel all over the country uh, from major city to major city and we throw events uh, in schools, universities, major corporations, uh, co-working spaces, and, and lots of different venues. It's my job to essentially capture that entire experience while also participating in the moderation of the day. So I am always evaluating the best way for me to bring the most essential pieces of gear that make that media capture and those events possible uh, from being able to use my computer for graphic design to being able to capture the day with a camera and microphones, uh, maybe doing a podcast or really doing some establishing shots. Lots of different responsibilities require lots of different types of gear and having all of that fit into a really user-friendly package has been hugely valuable to me. I have tried lots of different options, uh, more traditional kind of small capacity 25 to 35 liter backpacking backpacks from REI, uh, Osprey and Gregory, all the way up to really technical camera backpacks from Peak Design, uh, their everyday backpack being kind of the last iteration that I was using, uh, and everything in between, slings, combinations of multiple bags, and I finally settled on one piece of gear, like I said, uh, this Boundary Supply Prima Modular Backpack System, and I am absolutely elated with the quality of this bag, the way it works for me. I'm going to show you exactly how I use the bag, what gear I'm able to carry, and how it works for me in my use case. Uh, but to the folks at Boundary, you guys knock this out of the park. I absolutely love this system. I'm really not looking to replace it anytime soon. Uh, let's take it over the table and I'll show you exactly why it is that it works so well for me. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and start with a couple of the features that I think are really important while wearing the backpack. Uh, first and foremost, over here on my right-hand side, I've got access to my water bottle. Uh, I carry just one of these little simple Yeti, I think these are a, a 16 or an 18 ounce bottle. Uh, and then I use a, a screw top so that I don't spill my coffee on myself when either myself or my colleague are driving in the morning. Uh, helps to prevent spills. So this is actually very functional and thoughtful uh, in having this kind of lid. So instead of having uh, kind of a weird open bottle for your coffee, you've always got it contained and then it doubles as a water bottle throughout the day. But what I really like about the backpack itself is that I have access to get to it without taking the backpack off without having a huge amount of struggle, which is really important to me. Uh, second feature, over here on this side of the backpack, uh, you'll see something here pretty nice that I really like about a camera specific bag. So the chest strap itself is magnetic, so you can really attach that with one hand without having to really get finicky with the buckle. Same thing, it's really easy to remove, and especially if this is even just a little bit longer, I've got it kind of tightened up a little bit. This is really easy to attach, uh, and it's got a good firm hold, so that really gives you a lot of torso support and keeping the backpack where it needs to be. Uh, and it just hangs, it's a nice, nice feature. But basically, this is a side access backpack, so I can, while keeping the backpack on, open it up to the side, and I've got access to my Sony a6500 with the 18-105 to 105 lens. This is a relatively small camera body, but then I've got uh, one of the small rig frames on this thing. Uh, and then I've got kind of a chunkier lens. It's not you know a huge 70 to 200 or anything. This is just kind of a good, versatile, all-around lens. But I can get to it uh, at any time that I need to while keeping my backpack on. I don't have to go to the back of the bag. I don't have to go in through the top. This is a really nice access. And then on the inside, I'll go into this more. Uh, you've got access to some more accessories. So I've got uh, a holder for a cell phone for the top of a tripod. I've got a couple of extra batteries and I've got access to all of my little camera accessories like remote controls. Uh, and other things all immediately available right there. Kind of all my most critical stuff is available while I've got the backpack on and then I can bring it back right on to itself really easily, attach the chest strap and off I go. So it's a really simple 
uh, little detail that I think is really important if you are a camera person and focused on having a backpack that's really going to protect your camera and maybe an extra lens or a microphone, things like that. I'll go more into that kind of uh, that compartment a little bit later. Just wanted to kind of start there. So taking the backpack off, a couple of other features that I really like about this particular bag. Uh, on this side where you have the side access, there is a uh, kind of a briefcase style handle, which is really good for a couple of things. A, if you've got to navigate um, a win you know, an aisle in an airplane and you're really trying to get your bag you know, kind of skinny, it's really nice to be able to have that handle. It's also got a pass-through for your luggage, so uh, I often put my rolling you know, suit bag, um, suitcase handle through here, and then I've got the entire weight off my back. It's a really nice feature to have that. A lot of travel bags somehow forget to put that stupid feature in, uh, and it's kind of dumb. Uh, the top travel handle, this right here, is a really nice, thick, well put on there piece. It's really comfortable to hold for long periods of time, which is really nice and convenient. I appreciate that. Uh, the water bottle holder is nice and deep. So it is uh, not gonna fall out of there really easily, but at the same time, it's easy to get your bottle in and out of one handed. You don't have to constantly tighten straps because this is elastic and kind of does it for you. Uh, and this could handle a larger bottle or for demonstration purposes, a larger tripod fits nicely in there. And then you've got a removable strap that can go around, create that tension, and close down. Uh, you could put a much larger tripod than I've got here on this bag, uh, and that would be comfortable. And this is a Mifoto uh, Backpacker S. So, you know, not a tiny back, or not a tiny tripod, but also not huge either. Uh, I'll do more on that later. Um, the backpack itself, one of my tiny gripes, it is a hydrophobic material but I would not trust this thing for a long-term rain. They sell a rain cover, and I think it's somewhere between $20 and $30, if memory serves me correctly. Um, guys, increase the price, just include that thing. Just always put a rain cover with something that's designed to carry camera gear. That's just, that's one little thing that I have a problem with this backpack. Include a rain cover. Um, so on the outside of the bag, you do have a zip top pocket. In there, I normally keep my car keys and my AirPods, and they have a little kind of car key accessory. That's one of the other little tiny gripes. I didn't really, it didn't work well enough for me to use that and carry this little strap on my keys, so I just throw them in there. And then they do have a really nice function in here where there's an extra pocket that's great for carrying uh, a set of sunglasses and keeping those kind of separate and undamaged. So I do appreciate that thoughtful uh, attention to detail, but it's a nice deep pocket, uh, and especially if you open these top straps a little bit more, you even gain more room in that area. I'm gonna go into these here in just a second. I really like these buckles. Uh, so putting that back up, you have a whole separate pocket back here, which I'm gonna go into here in a second, but the main compartment of the bag and the way this closes and opens is really what makes this bag special. I, I, there's a lot of things about this system that I really like, but this entire opening closing system is really what makes this bag so great because it's so adaptable to whatever it is that you need. And I'm gonna show you how much stuff I have in here as it is, uh, and this thing could handle quite a bit more stuff. I could probably put a whole down jacket in here uh, and in some more gear, but I think you'll be kind of surprised what I have. So these buckles, really, really thoughtful feature. Uh, One-handed operation, and then they are magnetic. So they're really easy, just like the chest strap, to open and close, one-handed operation, uh, really good T cinching system they're just everything is nice and compact and really sleek and good looking this comes in three different colors i believe uh, i went with this kind of uh this desert brown which i just think is really fitting with like a blue suit or in the outdoors uh doesn't show dirt really terribly so it's awesome i love this color scheme uh couldn't be happier with the choice that i made so um you've got these one pull closures on both sides and then it's a roll top enclosure so like i said lots more space in the top but let me kind of give you an idea of what i've got in here uh gorilla pod i want to say this is the 3k system so this is a, a good heavy base this thing can handle my a6500 with the lens i was talking about um mifoto backpacker air 
Uh, really love this little guy. It's an awesome tripod. It's actually taller than the other one, but it just folds down. It's super sleek. Uh, I wouldn't put giant heavy cameras and heavy winds on this thing, but for my purposes, it works really, really well. This is my primary everyday tripod, uh, and I have yet to have it, you know, screw me or fail on me yet. I love this thing. Okay, I'm gonna go way deeper into this on another video, but this is uh, the Peak Designs Tech Pouch. This thing might be one of the coolest things I own. Um, I carry a bunch of different accessories and all kinds of stuff, and it really does an awesome job kind of organizing everything and putting it all into really easy to see what's in there, what's not, what needs to be replaced, charged, things like that. Uh, but I'll do a whole nother video on that. This is so handy because I can get to just about anything I need. Uh, my GoPro's in here, a battery charger for my phone, all my charging cables, this lavalier mic that I'm using uh, right now, as well as a bunch of different camera accessories and all kinds of things go in here and it all stays organized. It's really easy to find everything. Love this thing. Um, underneath that, I've got a Marmot rain jacket. This thing is awesome. I always have a rain jacket with me when I travel. It seems like every time we're out of town, uh, it rains no matter where we're at, even in Texas. Uh, so I always have a good rain jacket with me. This Marmot uh, precip jacket is just fantastic and it fits me great, which is the most important thing with rain jackets. Uh, underneath that, I've got the camera accessory that goes in this bag, but I also have a right in the rain uh, outdoor journal. I use this for just general business notes, uh, keeping you know just kind of anything, little doodads and, and things that I need to do throughout the day. Uh, and I've got a pen that's specific to that journal. Just I'll show you later. Uh, so this is what I really love about this backpack. So many bags that are roll top, essentially you're working from the top down every single time. And if it's at the very bottom and you need it in a pinch, it's a giant pain because you got to pull all this gear out. Well, with this Prima system, you've got this snap enclosure. You've got this all-weather zipper that runs the full length of the bag. You open this up, and you'll see uh, the full inside of this bag opens up, right? And so you can see everything. Now, this is a modular system that works. I'm going to talk to you a little bit about this here in a second. But I can go down below that and get this other little Peak Designs uh, clutch system that I've got that I keep uh, the double charger for my camera in there for my Sony camera. I keep the big charger for my MacBook Air, which is kind of a pain to always have one of these things. Luckily, the batteries on those things are awesome, but when I travel, I obviously have to charge it. Not using a ton during the day, but when you need to get to it, if this was buried at the bottom, and I couldn't get to it without pulling everything else out, especially if I was in an inclement weather situation. Not that I would really need to get to it then, but uh, that would be a huge pain. The nice thing about the way that this system works is because I can go down the front here like this, if all of this stuff that I just had in this bag was still in there, like it was, when this was closed, right, and this would be zipped up. If the one thing that I really needed to get to was that battery charger, rather than having to pull all that stuff out like you would in a traditional roll top bag, and I'll go into the benefits of a roll top bag here in a second, I could literally zip that open, pull that little pouch out, and boom, off and running I go. When I'm done, I can do a quick little manipulation and bam, everything's in there. I haven't lost any of my gear and everything just folds up exactly how I would want to. So I want to show you kind of the, the real piece that is specific to this bag that I haven't really touched on yet. I kind of hinted at it with the side access to the camera system, but on the side of this bag or in the side of this bag, you've got this opening, right? And this opening is actually holding a bag, a small camera bag itself, that with just a couple of snaps can be removed and then worn as a shoulder sling. So this bag itself is what my camera lives in, 
So in there, I've got my Sony a6500. On top of that, just because I always like to have a small wide angle lens, so that's the Sony 16 millimeter one point, uh, 2.8. And then I've got the ultra wide converter on there, which would take it down to a 10. Um, and that gives me a really nice wide angle for say like real estate or showing off big large rooms with large groups of people. Uh, and then I've also got a Rode Video Micro with the um, little, you know, dead cat on there, uh, you know, air muffler. And I use this for smaller events and just, it's great to always have a, you know, a quality premium microphone with you or just an off camera mic. So the great thing is the way I've got this system set up is I can store not only that mic, not only that lens, but also my camera all integrated into there. Let me just put this bag down for a second all integrated into there and then like i said before in the top i'm able to carry two sony camera batteries i could put easily two more in there plenty of room i've got one of these little manfrode oh sorry this is a joby uh version uh just a little cell phone um you know kind of extendable clip that uh, will hold your phone towards you and I can use this on the tripod that I'm using this Backpacker S or the Backpacker or the, um, the Joby Gorilla Pod. They all have these little Peak Designs uh, plates on the bottom and I'll show you why I use these. This is pretty slick. I've really enjoyed this system. Um, but the other thing is I also carry this little you know, uh, Aperture ALM9 Lite, which this thing is you can tell hold on will really light you up if you don't uh, if you need a little light you know in a dark scenario these things are fantastic and I can use this uh, not only for filming and for you know thick pictures and things like that but I can also just use this as a general outdoor light if I don't have a flashlight or something like that this thing's great it charges with a USB so I can use the battery brick that's already in my tech pouch and charge that bad boy up whenever I want to. So uh, got a lot of options in this little camera bag here. So the nice thing is you can take this out and then you can remove the waist strap from the actual backpack itself. I'm not gonna do it for the purposes of the video, but you've got connectors that come right out of here and buckle in to the waist strap. And then voila, you've got an over the camera uh, or over the shoulder camera sling. So if you want to just go for a hike or you want to just go out for the evening and you need just a, an easy way to carry your camera, uh, you can do that. Here's the other slick part about this little bag. If you want, uh, this bag has some little straps on the bottom. So if you wanted to bring a little tripod, for example, the little gorilla pod or something like that, you can do it on there. And this thing zips open and actually doubles in size almost uh, in volume. So you can actually, I have in uh, multiple scenarios taken this and you put your rain jacket down below and then in the worst case scenario, if it starts to rain, boom, you throw your rain jacket on and off and running you go and uh, you can carry that, you know, your shoulder sling under your backpack or under your rain jacket and you've got a little protection for your, uh, your camera. So I appreciate that little attention to detail. I don't use it often, um, but it is kind of a cool feature to have as a built-in function of the backpack and uh, really thoughtful when they were putting that together. So this, like I said, you just pull your backpack back up here like this. There's some tabs and then there's a kind of a hard surface right here they've got this really well constructed so it it really sits in there very nicely it doesn't slide around you don't feel like it's uh, going to detach and fall apart at any point and then all you do is unzip that top and snap it together and that way when this pouch opens and closes you've got immediate access to your camera and you can go right to work and clip, 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 and uh, put that back where it needs to be, really well protected and nice, and then, bam, you've got your camera put away. So the last part of this bag that I think is just absolutely fantastic is where they thought 
I know everybody's been thinking, where do you put your, your, you know, your, uh, your computer and iPad and things like that? And trust me, they thought through everything. So there's a whole another zippered compartment at the very back of the bag, closest to your back, uh, kind of protected and away from the elements. It's a full weather zipper, so it's got that kind of rubberized seal, which is really nice. Don't quote me on how much they guarantee or, or protect there. Um, but you've got two separate pockets back here or sleeves for different equipment and gear. Uh, I'll start with, I keep my iPad. This is um, not the big giant one, but this is like the 10 point something, I think 10.1 iPad Pro. Um, and then I've got the pencil in this, in this thing. So if I need to go to just a meeting and take notes, this is what I take. I don't necessarily bother with the entire system. Uh, this is great to just be able to take out. I can access anything on the internet. I can update our websites. I can edit photos, all kinds of things on my iPad if need. Uh, so this is great to have. But they also include this really handy sleeve as part of the system. So it's kind of three parts. It's the main backpack, the camera sleeve, and then this you know computer sleeve slash iPad sleeve. The way I'm using it with my 13 inch MacBook Air, it is absolutely perfect tight. Uh, I wouldn't trust it for a much thicker laptop of the same size, but use your judgment with what you've got. Uh, the reason I love this system is that it really allows me to quickly get to everything that I need to use my computer really comfortably. So in this magnetic closure top flap, uh, I can go in and get my MacBook Air, just like that, and boom, out that comes. Then uh, in the zippered pocket on this top one, I keep an Apple Magic Mouse, which is really nice. Uh, it's a very thin, slimline mouse, but I really like being able to use a mouse when I'm on the road. Uh, don't always use it, but it's really nice to have, and it just fits right in that little slimline pocket and just tucks away. Uh, over here, it's got space for two pens. I've got one of these Fisher Space Pens that are great in uh, all weather, in the rain, and it's just a good, like, chunky, thick, well-built, nice pen. It just feels good. Um, and I've never had a problem with it, you know, bleeding or running or inking or anything like that. It's just a fantastic pen and they're not that expensive. They're like 15 bucks. Um, and when you have a nice pen, you try to keep a hold of it. So I don't really lose this thing. Um, and then lastly, one of the things that I do like down here at the bottom is that I am able to carry uh, a two terabyte hard drive with me that carries just kind of essential files that I need for creative work. Uh, I can store all the new photos and videos that we store or that we capture until I get back to my house and can download them onto a larger system. Um, but this is just a really nice, small, thin profile hard drive that, uh, like I said, just goes right into that pocket. I can carry the cable. Uh, lastly, I've got a 256 gigabyte flash drive in there. So in a pinch, if I need a little extra storage for my hard drive or something like that, I got it. So that zips away and the computer goes in uh, and all that stuff fits really nicely. It's got kind of this little uh, plastic bolt here on the back and that sits in a little grommet here, which keeps everything really nicely uh, in place and, and where it should be. It keeps it really nice and tucked away. And then iPad goes in and I can zip that up. This strap can be put back into place there and then next in on top of the camera system which is already down in there uh, i would normally go with my rain jacket and then what i normally carry with me on the road is this tripod that would go in and then the tech pouch and the tech pouch is accessible at all times so i've got access to the battery charger cables my gopro uh, GoPro batteries and all the other stuff that I need to kind of just get my job done and I put that right on top and that's all done very functionally so that I can get to everything as easily as possible when I would need it and I kind of think through my use cases if I'm at a coffee shop with my colleague what kind of stuff do I need to sit down and do a little graphic design well all I really need is that computer slab so I go in here I pull this out and I've got everything that I need to work for a while. If I need to videotape us, I can probably just grab my little GoPro in that top uh, pocket, that top pouch, and then I get right to uh, the tripod underneath that. If I need to get to my rain jacket, pretty easy to get to that, or I can go right down through the front zipper 
and boom with just a couple of magnetic closures this closes down nice and comfortable that is normally how I would carry this bag I would then put that in there sunglasses are either going to get worn or plenty of room in the top pouch for them to slide in keys airpods and then the beautiful thing that I really like about this bag is that I've got room in the top either for uh, this Gorilla Pod, if this is what I was going to carry to kind of serve as a secondary backup tripod if I wanted, or if I wanted to carry something larger, I've got a couple of options. I can either A, go on the bottom where these straps are, I've just got to be kind of careful when I'm putting my bag you know, down or, or back. Uh, I could forego the water bottle and put it over here on the side, or what I've been doing recently, and don't take my you know, lead on this, I just tuck it in right here underneath and make sure that these straps are down good and tight. And the tension of that will keep that tripod in place for the most part. Now, I will say I've had it slide out the side or slide out this side if that tension, see what I mean? It's coming right out there. Now, if you're gonna be just covering a short distance and you know that you're not gonna be sloshing side to side, things like that, uh, I think you'd probably be okay, but don't call me if you break your gear, if it slides out, and don't blame Boundary because this is not how they promote you to do it. It's just a way that I've figured out that it works for me if I need to carry a tripod, for example, from my car into a client's office and I just need to go a short distance and I don't want to have one more tripod in my hands. That allows me to put a ton of gear. This is two tripods, a camera, two lenses, a microphone, a whole tech pouch with GoPros and batteries and battery chargers, cables, accessories, my computer, my iPad, a hard drive, a mouse, the chargers for both my camera and my computer, a rain jacket, a water bottle, and a whole bunch of other stuff. This backpack is small enough and streamlined enough to slide under the seat in front of you on an, a Southwest economy seat I've done it a bunch of times. I promise it works really, really well. And the beautiful part about it is that when it's under there, you can still get to everything you'd wanna use while on the plane without really having to move it from under your seat because if it's tucked in front of you, you can really get to that zipper and without even removing anything, you can pull your, your, your iPad out, you can pull your computer out, anything else that you have in that computer accessory. You can open the top flap and pull the top things out. You can get to your water bottle down the side. Or if you really need something in the bottom, like a rain jacket to keep you warm, you can slide it out just underneath you, unzip that top lever or that layer and get to everything you want. I cannot imagine a better system for the traveling professional that needs to really protect your camera, maybe bring an extra lens and a microphone and a whole bunch of other tech stuff. So Boundary Supply, thank you so much for knocking it out of the park with this bag. I could not be more excited about traveling with this beast. Uh, it is absolutely fantastic. And the best part about it is that if I get somewhere and I don't want anything else other than just a normal backpack, I can gut everything out of it and I can just use it as an everyday day pack. I can put whatever I want in there, lunch, drinks, food, all kinds of stuff. And it carries outstandingly well with the hip belt enclosed, great torso, awesome shoulder straps. Thank you, Boundary. It's been another video with Outdoors Podcast. If you guys have questions, leave them down below. Hit up the Instagram channel at Outdoors Podcast or the Facebook at uh, facebook.com slash Outdoors Podcast. Ask me a question. Share your comments. Let me know what you think about this or the other backpacks that you guys have used and or what I could do to improve what I'm doing right now. Thanks, guys. See you later.